Hello, my name is Megan Harnett, and I will be teaching you out of the My Lady Nail Technology, Chapter 5, Infection Control Principles and Practices. So, what's a disease that affects the body as a whole? What's one cell microorganisms having both plants and animal characteristics? What types of disease can be spread from person to person? These are the questions that you'll be able to answer after learning Chapter 5. So in this outline, why do we study infection control? What are our regulations? Principles of infection, principles of prevention, standard precautions, the professional salon image, and procedures. Our learning objectives. Some of them are discuss state laws and rules and explain differences between them. List the types and classifications of bacteria. List your responsibilities as a salon professional. Describe how to safely clean and disinfect salon tools and equipment. Here are some of your key terms. Acquire immunity. Disease disinfectants. Material safety data sheet. Sanitizing. There is a great deal of confusion and misuse of the terms cleaning, sanitizing, disinfecting, and sterilizing within the beauty industry, including at the state regulatory level. The word sanitizing has been used to mean clean or cleaning. Why study infection control? Nail technicians should have a thorough understanding of infection control principles and practices because to be knowledgeable, successful, and responsible in the professional in the field of technology nail technology, you are required to understand the types of infections you may encounter in a salon and their modes of transmission. Understanding and practicing proper infection control within the laws and rules will safeguard your business. Respecting the chemicals in the cleaning and disinfecting products that you use and knowing how to safely use them will help keep your clients and your salon environment safe. Regulation. Various federal and state agencies regulate the practice of nail technology. Federal agencies, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, was created as part of the U.S. Department of Labor to regulate and enforce safety and health standards to protect employees in the workplace. The material safety data sheet is a result of this law. Safety data sheets replaces material safety data sheets. As of June 2015, the HCS requires a manufacturer, distributor, or importer to supply an SDS for each professional product sold. When necessary, the SDS can be taken to a doctor so that the situation can be properly treated. Federal and state laws require nail salons to obtain an SDS from the manufacturers or distributors for each professional product that you use. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. The Environmental Protection Agency registers many different types of disinfectants that are sold and used in the United States. State Regulatory Agencies. State regulatory agencies exist to protect the health and safety of professionals and of consumers who receive nail and pedicure services in the salons and spas. Laws and rules and what is the difference? Laws are written by both the federal and state legislators that determine the scope of practice, what each license allows the holder to do, and establish guidelines for regulatory agencies to make rules. Laws are also called statutes. Rules or regulations are more specific than laws. Rules are written by a regulatory agency or state board and determine how the law will be applied. Rules establish specific standards of conduct and can be changed or updated frequently. Principles of infection. Being a salon professional is fun and rewarding, but it also carries a great responsibility. One careless action could cause injury or infection, the invasion of body tissues by disease-causing pathogens, and you could lose your license or ruin the salon's reputation. You see in figure 5-1, are they following the rules? You'll find out. Keep going. Infection control. Infection control is the method used to eliminate or reduce the transmission of infectious organisms. An infectious disease is caused by pathogenic or harmful organisms that enter the body. Remember, nail professionals are never allowed to diagnose, determine the nature of a disease from its symptoms, treat or recommend treatments for infectious disease or abnormal conditions. 
Disinfection is a chemical process that uses specific products to destroy organisms or non-porous surfaces. Disinfectants used in saline must be bactericidal, capable of destroying bacteria. Fungicidal, cap capable of destroying fungi. And viricidal, capable of what? Destroying viruses. Bacteria are also called one microcelled organisms of microscopic or submicroscopic size with both plants and animal characteristics. Some are harmful, some are harmless. Types of bacteria. There are thousands of different kinds of bacteria that fall into two primary types, pathogenic and non-pathogenic. Most bacteria are non-pathogenic. They are harmless organisms that may perform useful functions and are safe to come in contact with since they do not cause disease or harm. Pathogenic bacteria are considered harmful because they may cause disease or infection in humans when they invade the body. You see down in table 5.1, these are the causes of disease. Bacteria, direct transmission, indirect transmission, infection, germs, microorganisms, parasites, toxins, viruses. Okay, these are the classifications of potentially pathogenic bacteria. Coxie. Round-shaped bacteria that appear singly, alone, in groups. Staphylococci, forming bacteria that grows in clusters like a bunch of grapes. They cause abscesses, pustules, and boils. You see over in figure 5-4? Streptococci, pus-forming bacteria arranged in curved lines resembling strings of bees. Diplococci. Spherical bacteria that grows in pairs and causes disease such as pneumonia. That's down in figure 5-6. Notice all the different 5-3, 5-4, 5-5, and 5-6. You have to remember all of those shapes and types of bacteria. Okay, come down to bacilli. Singular bacillus. Short, rod-shaped bacteria. And spirella. Spiral or corkscrew-shaped bacteria. You see the bacilli down in figure 5-7 and 5-8. That's spirella. Movement of bacteria. Different bacteria move in different ways. Coxy really shows active motility or self-movement. They are transmitted in the air, in dust, or within the substance in which they settle. Bacilli and spirella are both capable of moving and use slender hair-like extensions known as flugella. Down in figure 5-9, you see the bacteria with flagellum. Did you know one of the main causes of infection from a salon, whirlpool, foot spas can be traced to debris building up to create a thin film-like coating called biofilm. Biofilms are a highly protective breeding ground for bacteria and fungi and can serve as nests in which huge colonies of these microorganisms can grow and multiply. Don't let biofilms build up in your salon. Use a brush that has been properly cleaned and disinfected. Table 5-2, terms related to disease, term allergy, contagious disease, contamination, decontamination, diagnosis, disease, exposure incident, infectious disease, inflammation, occupational disease, parasitic disease, pathogenic disease, and systemic disease. All right, this was part one. Go to my next video for part two. Thank you.